the, the flip screen comes around yeah, now, though. You need to make sure he's looking good. <laughs> looking sharp. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Beard's trim. So you said um, Judaism is for one tribe that was in the desert. Yeah. Would that be the tribe of Judah? No, that was the 12 tribes. So, the tw so it's basically brothers. For, yeah, it's well, it. one okay, family. Okay, one family, the 12 uh, tribes of Israel. Yeah. Are modern Jews descendant of the tribe Absolute. of Judah? So I, no, so I'm, 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 I'm descended from the tribe of Levi. Levi, okay. Um, How do you my, know that? Because, um, because they had certain roles within the temple, so people appended them. Jews didn't have um, surnames. Okay. So, for example, like my, my grandfather's name, his Hebrew name, yeah. is um, Zev Ben Yechiel Halevi. Okay. So he would append Halevi to his name. Halevi. And then the son inherits that from the father. And just so I don't know that. My mother's side, so yeah. I'm not actually, okay. I'm not, I don't have that same role in the religion, but I know because generations, people couldn't just add on this name because it was considered, you know, it's, it's considered, uh, you know, it's just something that you wouldn't do. And, and, and Gershom told me that levy is what we use for the word when we tax, so levy yeah. a tax, he said it comes from that. Yeah, because, so, no. because the, yeah, so, in part because basically in the, when Joe was talking before about the 10 or 20 percent that Jews give to charity yeah um, that's from the biblical commandment where you have to give between 10 and 20 okay. yeah, percent yeah. to the to the priests and the Levites in the temple okay. and because the temple doesn't exist we we now give that portion of our income so away like Zikat from Muslims give, yeah, so exactly, so um, you're basically yeah. standing next to royalty basically okay. <laughs> biblical yeah. royalty honor for you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, do you know which tribe you, you no, would go back to no okay. so I've got a surname Cohen okay but I'm not a Cohen oh. so basically Cohen were a, a subdivision of the Le tribe of Levi mm -hmm. but they were the high priests they were the creme de la creme the royalty and so when my family so came from so when my not? family came from Poland yeah their name was originally Curric, which means chicken farmer. Yeah, my wife. Uh, <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, which means chicken farmer. And when they came to the UK, because they were illiterate, they just got upgraded by immigration. So oh, the story goes to Cohen. Right. So we got an upgrade. So everyone thinks we're royalty, but actually we're like the lowest of the yeah, low. Okay. We're the chicken farmers. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, no, it's, uh... um, no, but to answer your question, most Jews don't know their so tribe know. anymore. Okay. Different Jew Jewish communities, like say in India and Ethiopia, will have yeah, legends. Or Yemen so. will have legends of which tribes they descended from okay. but nothing we can verify the only tribe some we can verify is Levy yeah. okay so some people will have like a family history yeah and they'll you know going back hundreds of years mm -hmm. but they've passed down so they'll have a but again it's not isn't it's not verifiable mm -hmm. it's just a you know a family account they might even have they might even have a written record of it or some people they for example in Yemen they have it carved in in wood in Yemen that is. yeah okay but just so to, to really add on to your original yeah. point which is like Basically, so the question that comes up time and time again here is how do you know that you're Jewish? It's just like, aren't, aren't you a little bit, bit too white, Joseph, to be Jewish? Shouldn't, okay, shouldn't you okay. be a black man? And okay. basically, there's been, the Jews are the most genetically studied group of people because they basically were incredibly insular um, because they were basically confined to ghettos and they only really married amongst themselves. They've been a very, they've been subject to a lot of genetic studies. And whether you're an Ashkenazi Jew which is a Jew for the, who follows the customs that evolve in Western and Eastern Europe. Um, if you are a, a Mizrahi Jew from the Arab world, basically you have shared genetic markers. So the majority of Jews belong to a haplo type that begins with um, J. Um, I, E1B1B, which is 20% of Jews, fall into this haplotype, but we all basically trace our ancestry back to the Middle East. Um, and so although we may look different, an Ethiopian Jew may look different to a Polish Jew, there are ge genetic markers which are similar because we come from the same source. Yeah, I mean if you watch these TV shows where they do people's ancestry, I think um, Margaret Thatcher's daughter was 20% African or something. Yeah. You could have heritage from yeah. somewhere and you might not look yeah. you know, typically like... So there's, uh, there's an amazing YouTube video you should watch which is some um, black activist from America discovering that actually genetically she's white yeah. and she's constructed her entire identity about black and white people oppressing blacks 
and when she gets the news, she breaks down in tears. Like being white is the worst thing ever. <laughs> it's, um, so yeah, how you look doesn't necessarily determine what your like it, either paternal or maternal line it is, is. It's a lineage thing, although people could convert to it. I understand yeah. it's a very yeah. arduous process. Um, I don't know why I'm ca um, fixated on this Judah, tribe of Judah thing. I'm just wondering why don't the Jewish people call themselves Israelites okay. if you are well, okay, all from because, the 12 uh, tribes? So basically the, 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 the word Jew mm. is, is a derivative of the Hebrew Yehuda, okay. which, is, which is the tribe of, in, in Judah. Judah, yeah. So, and because basically what happened in history with the, with this, you know, there was the land of Israel in ancient times that was the 12 tribes mm. and part of that is split into two kingdoms. It's split into the kingdom of Israel and the kingdom of Judah. Yeah. And the kingdom of Israel, which was the 10 tribes, was conquered by the Assyrians, I think in, was that eight, the 8th century BC, something like that. Okay. Um, and, and those people were carted off and dispersed amongst the Assyrian okay. uh, empire at the time. Do we know where their and descendants so, are So now? there's plenty of, there's people, so for example, there's tribes in Afghanistan. Yeah. Um, who um, have a tribal history that they were originally now, now they're Muslims, but they were originally Jews. Okay, I think um, you have the the Patans, yeah, right? The yeah, Pashtuns. The Pashtuns yeah, call, yeah. regard themselves yeah. as Bani Israel. Yeah. There's there's a tribe in you know that occupies Malawi and South Africa called the Lemba, mm. and they have uh, they have again a tribal history that they're descended well, from Jews, yeah. and they have also talking about the genetics of it. Some of them have the there's a there's a because the um, the Kohenim are all descended, the priesthood, they're all descended from Aaron, mm. the brother of Moses. Okay. They all have this, a gen, there's a gene that's exclusive to the Kohenim. Well, a lot of people like to make these claims and who knows how true they are. I'm sure Raspect has told you that he's more Jewish than you or he, he's an Israelite. Who is he? I don't know. There's a, Rastaf a Rastafarian. Raspect is a very opinionated. I mean, I'll tell you that tongue in cheek, I get on well with, with yeah. Raspect yeah. and I find it interesting yeah. that the, the Caribbeans uh, the black caribbean people want to um, identify with this jewish story and maybe years of being enslaved so it probably rings a bell it's just yeah. another manifestation of anti-semitism so anti-semitism raised its head in many ways um the nazis was physical violence they raised us physically they tried to exterminate us with others it's an intellectual exercise and they tried to erase us as even being jews so identity. actually as a people i'm not a jew I cease to be a Jew. I'm a white European what, do, imposter. Do all Rastafarians say, are they saying no, no, we're this also is, Jews? No, or are they no, saying you're born, not Jews no, as we are? It's born more out of the nation of Islam okay. and the, black, um, the Hebrew Israelites in America yeah. who are Christians. Um, and they, so the, the Hebrew Israelites, or the black Hebrews, they believe that the, the Hispanics, the Puerto Ricans, all these different categories are the lost tribes. Mm -hmm. Um, and so included well, there in the was British there Israelism, where people well, said the is, British people well, are yeah. lost tribe. Maybe they are. In, fa in fairness, in, in Latin America, yeah. there there is a large number of people who are descended from Jews who escaped the Spanish Inquisition. That's another thing that Gershon mentioned to yeah. me. He said that um, as a person of Irish heritage, there's a good chance that I have some Hebrew DNA from Jewish people that fled Andalusia and uh, escaped to Ireland. There's people on the Hebride Islands that say the Hebrides means Hebrew. Uh, everyone seems to want to claim it. Um, I hope it doesn't. It seems to upset. Can I just, you. So, so if can I just claiming say it at the expense of Jewish people? Then fair so, enough. So the, the reality is we have a hugely rich archaeological record, mm -hmm. a literature record. Um, like wherever Jews have lived, there is a presence. Be it a Jewish graveyard, a synagogue, a mikveh. Mm -hmm. There are books there are letters there's like the Cairo Geniza right. where we have letters that were preserved being sent from Jewish communities around the world and we're their descendants okay. now all these other people that come along and say actually we're the real Jews guys there is no archaeological record there is no literature in some cases there are in those okay. cases are taken yeah. very are seriously you minded yeah. about the Afghanistan one yeah, yeah in some cases there's been, okay I'll give you an example I had a I, I have a friend from Spain mm -hmm. I, I, I used to live in Israel and I, I met her in Not Israel. She in the park. We shouldn't yeah, be filming yeah. either. But she, she told me... Apparently not, but I'll yeah, talk about that yeah. another no, time. And she told me that her gr her grandmother, on a, literally on her deathbed, yeah. called her and her mother over mm -hmm. and said, oh, by the way, we're Jews. By the way, we're Jews. Yeah, because, I've heard a lot of stories right, about and, where and Jews had to live in, in secret. Yeah, and you know, there's a, there's a village in Portugal that came out of... Uh, 
about a, a decade ago or 15 years ago yeah. and they announced in northern Portugal this entire village that said we are actually we've been protect for the last 450 years we've pretend, been pretending to be Catholics mm -hmm. actually we're Jews yeah. hiding from the Inquisition and now we feel safe so there, there are going to be some people who come along yeah. but again that's the difference they're not saying we're the real Jews and you're not think, yeah. there's the people who say we're the real Jews and you're not and, and you're then there's not. people yeah, who say the that problem, we're actually we're yeah. also Jews yeah you know? that's the problem right? I think the thing is if you go to Israel Jews come in all shapes and colours um, you go to any synagogue in North London You'll see Jews of different. I go to a synagogue where I'm the lightest person there. Yeah. There's huge diversity amongst the Jewish people. It's not a racial thing. I go, it's I go not to a synagogue where I'm the darkest person there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely the most ginger in most places <laughs> I go. That's got to be tough. Um, <laughs> all right. Um, You've got a little bit of. Yeah, okay. Well, who, who knows? Um, last question then. Uh, I think. The, the Jews are a people, they're not a race, they're not a religion, they're people I've heard you describe yeah. them as such. Yeah. Can you give me an example of another similar people? Or are they I, unique in the fact that I would they're a religion and a... Say, no, no, I would say if you look at Native American, I'm not, I'm not an expert on this, but Native American culture, um, they are both an ethnicity and a religion, and you can't just join the tribe, the tribe has to accept you into it.